All right. We are joined by the Indiana Hoosiers. Coach Woodson, if you can make an opening statement about the game, then we'll take questions for the students. Well, again, you know, to, today was another great effort, you know, on our, our ball club um, for 40 minutes. I mean, we competed. And, you know, Illinois and their coach, I mean, great staff. Um, they competed. I mean, nobody really wanted to give, but I thought we made some, some damn good plays down the stretch to secure the win. So with that being said, I'm, I'm very pleased with the, our performance tonight, and, but we got to get ready for the, our next opponent. That's what it's all about. All right, we'll take questions for the students. We'll start in the front row here on the left. Jeff Rabjohns, Peaks.com. Trace, this basically locks up a spot in the NCAA tournament where you wanted to go, where you guys wanted to go. Just what's it like to come into the Big Ten tournament, needing wins, getting them, and being solidly in the NCAA tournament field? Um, it's big for us, honestly, but what X told you guys yesterday, we didn't pack for two days. We didn't pack for three days. We packed to win the Big Ten. And that's what Coach Woodson's put a big emphasis on this year. So I'm glad that we got this W today to solidify our spot. But at the same time, we want to play two more games. All right, front row on the right. Uh, Mike Pecker and Peaks.com. Trace, uh, you seemed to find another level yesterday. Did that help you get through and play really well today? And, and if even you were hitting the uh, jumpers and so forth. Uh, was that a confidence builder yesterday to make you play well? Uh, most definitely. Um, there's been a lot of talk, especially the past two years, of me not showing up at the end of the season. And so I'm trying to change that narrative. And especially with, um, I think that team is honestly the team that got me into the slump that I've been in the last month. And when we played them on February 5th, it took a lot of my confidence away. So um, Illinois was a bully today, and I think we took care of that problem. So I'm just going to keep playing the way that I am, and then um, we'll go from there. On the left-hand side, Zach. Trace, you, sorry, Zach Osterman, Indianapolis Star. Trace, you've seen Kofi a lot. I think this is hands down your best game against him. And I know it's not just a one to one matchup, other guys are involved. But what was working for you to allow you to just be so efficient at both ends of the floor today? Well, Kofi, Kofi's going to get his. He's a great player. He's all American. But um, at the same time, we knew that we, we were going to try to slow him down. But in the second half late, he started getting a lot of buckets. But we really shut their guard play down. So basically, we were just trying to let me play one on one with him and then have our guards be taken away, and that's what we did. So our guards did a great job stepping up and not letting them hitch threes. We're going to go on the right-hand side to Rick. Yeah, Trace, Rick Bozich, WDRB in Louisville. Um, you played in this tournament last year, and when you lost, you guys were booed as you walked off the court. Now you're going into the semifinals, which Indiana hasn't done in a long time. What, is it, what does it mean to you? Um, I think... I think our team right now is playing with a lot of confidence, and Coach Woodson said it all year. He said this isn't last year's team, and I think yesterday finally getting over that hump proves that we're a new team with a lot of new pieces like X over here, but um, we're just going to keep playing our style of basketball, and hopefully that keeps transitioning to wins. Left-hand side, Dustin. Dustin DeVere at Bloomington Herald Times X. It seemed like they were trying really hard to make sure you couldn't get anything going on the ball screen today. I mean, what did, how did they change your reads? What do you think you did to sort of keep yourself out of making mistakes? And what do you, how do you think you were ultimately effective in dealing with the way they were trying to defend you? Uh, I mean, I was just constantly trying to get downhill. Uh, I mean, they iced the ball screen pretty, pretty well. Uh, they play really good defense. Um, I was just trying to get downhill and, and make other players better because uh, that's one of, one of my, my jobs. And that's one of my favorite jobs of doing this team. Front row, Tom. You're Tom Bruce, Sports Illustrated, Indiana. Yesterday, uh, Coach Woods had mentioned that he really liked what he saw out of all of you in regards to composure down the stretch. Uh, you guys have been through a lot of tight games uh, from a player standpoint. What was the composure level like truly out there on the court in a one-possession game basically for the last seven, eight, ten minutes? Uh, I mean, Coach, Coach Woodson got us to believe. Uh, everybody believes that we can win. Uh, we were playing both sides on the ball well. Uh, our defense has really, really picked it up from the last, last couple of games because uh, that's, that's really what's winning those games right now. All the way on the left-hand side in the front row. Tyler Tashman with inside the hole. Um, this is for either one of you. I think you guys had lost seven of nine heading into the tournament, and it seemed like it would be easy for the locker room to fracture. Uh, why do you think that did not happen? Um, I just think the biggest thing for us was um, this was our finally our chance um, to prove something, really. Um, I think after we let the Purdue game slipped away from us, even though we lost, we lost by two, and it was in Mackey Arena, which is one of the toughest environments. And it just proves that we can compete with anyone. So coming into this tournament, we kind of had a chip on our shoulder to prove ourselves, and I think we've done that so far. Right-hand side, third row. 
Brian Teague, uh, Chicago State of Mind Sports. Question for you, Trace. What does this win against Illinois mean for the program and also for you individually? Um, it's really big for me, honestly, and our program, because a lot of us, I know I haven't beat Illinois throughout my whole career, so I'm finally getting that one, like Michigan. I think it's just getting another thing off my chest and then getting ready for whoever we play tomorrow is going to be a great game. So, Second row in the middle on the left. Gracie Barr inside the hall. Trace, you had just six points against Illinois earlier this season, and there were times where you were down in the post and there were guys that you could have kicked it out to. What was going through your mind when you decided to go one-on-one -on -one with Kofi so many times? Um, it was really just I had Coach Woodson gave me confidence. Uh, my teammates gave me confidence. And I think after I got in that rhythm, I got two buckets early in the first half, and um, the rest goes from there. I felt like I could score, so I was just doing my job. Left-hand side. X, you and your team have had problems with some of the fans not always being as supportive this season. What do you have to say to those doubters and now you're advancing into the semifinals of the tournament? Uh, I don't have anything to say to them. Uh, honestly, it's just us. Honestly, we all, we've been about, about us all year and we're going to be about us uh, for when, when, we, when, we're, when we're successful. All right, Kevin on the left-hand side. Yeah, Trace, can you speak to going to the free throw line? 26.1 seconds left. You guys are down one. and. Uh, Overall, I mean, it was a pretty good day from line 10 to 13, but just your mindset going, going to line in that situation? Um, it was just belief. Um, I've been working on my free throw routine, and um, it was something that I shoot 100 free throws with some of our coaches every day. So I was just thinking of practice and trying to get that scenario in my head that I'm just in practice knocking them down. So that's what I did. All right, we'll stay on the left-hand side. Alex Hickey, Saturday tradition. Uh, Trace and X, second straight day. You get uh, a late turnover against a team you've never beaten. They just throw the ball out of bounds. When stuff like that happens, do you get some belief that maybe something special is going on right now? Uh, I mean, I mean, when he turned it over, it was 10 seconds left. Uh, and Miller, Miller came in. Uh, Miller's a great free throw shooter. He missed. But I mean, we just came back, back in, played defense, and we got the stop we needed. And, and we came down and got the rebound, and, and Trey, Trace iced it with his free throws. Yeah, piggybacking off of what X said, I think that's that's big for us because um, it's always been one stop, one key stop, one key rebound that has been the last seven, eight games of where we haven't gotten those. So finally getting some of those breaks, I think has been good for us. All right, we'll take last question for the students on the left-hand side. Uh, X, what's different about your jump shot lately? Is there anything that you've changed mechanically or anything different about you know, your confidence with it? And how important especially is the mid-range for what you've been able to do off pick and roll? Uh, I mean, coach, coach, coach is always believing me to keep shooting. Uh, he's not going to tell me to stop shooting. So, I mean, I just get in the gym and he see me all, all, always just working on my, my game. I'm always working on my craft every day. And, and now, now it's just starting to come. All right. Thank you guys. Can head back to the locker room. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll continue with questions for Coach Woodson. We'll start with Jim in the front row right here. Mike. Uh I know that this is not about you, and I can only imagine how happy you are for the players, but for someone who is too old, who hasn't coached the college game, who hasn't recruited, what are you calling old? how good does it feel to have Indiana in the NCAA tournament uh, further than they've been in the Big Ten tournament since 2003, uh, and I'm sure plenty of other accolades that go along with that. Sure? That has to feel confident for you. Are you sure we're in the tournament? I would guarantee you're in the tournament. Okay, well, that's a great, great feeling. I think it's great for our program, really. And these players, I mean, it's been about these guys ever since we started the journey. And, um, you know, it's been a, for me, it's been fun because it's kind of been a roller coaster ride, you know, watching these guys develop over this season so far. And, but the thing that I like about our team, man, we are competitive. Even though we've lost a lot of close games, we are very, very competitive, man. And from a coaching standpoint, that's all you can ask for. But I think it's great for our program. It's fantastic that we're back in the big dance. We'll go all the way to the far right, second row. Yeah, Coach Mike Schumann with the Daily Hoosier. When you guys had lost seven of nine there to, to wrap up the regular season, were, were there any moments that you, you, you had to soul search with the guys and, and help them believe that it wasn't over and that they could have a run like this this week? No, not at all. I mean. You know, you look at the seven of the nine games we lost, we either held leads, we just couldn't close. And, you know, I kept saying early on that we're still trying to figure each other out. And you say, well, hell, we're at the end of the season now. You know, you should already have figured it out. 
Well, I take responsibility for a lot of the games that we've lost. You know, I mean, I just couldn't get them over the hump. And now they're really starting to believe. You know, I mean, you, you lose enough of them, then hell, you start to get breaks your way. And I thought uh, today we got a, a great break in the, in the turnover that they had down the stretch, and, and we were able to still secure the win. Go to Zach on the second row left. Mike, uh, Trace sort of talked there about how he felt like the first time you guys played Illinois, that game, that performance, what Illinois kind of did to him that day, got him into a little bit of a funk. He's had some other tough games against Illinois and Kofi in particular in the past. What was different about him today? How much of it do you think in particular was a carryover from yesterday? Well, again, I know that affected him. I mean, I went back and watched some old films of him going against big fella Kofi, and he didn't fare well. And then he got in foul trouble at our place early, and he was just never a factor. And I think yesterday's play, you know, after the halftime meeting that we had, he bounced back and shown, showed his teammates and the coaching staff in this program that he's a, a damn good player in the Big Ten, and he's been that way for some years. And so today, I mean, I, I challenged him again. I was like, man, you, you know, you got to go out and, and, and play this guy and make him respect you. And I thought he did a hell of a job in that regard. We'll go to the front row here to Mike. Yeah, Mike Pegram from uh, Peaks.com. Coach, how is Jordan Geronimo doing? And just speak to your, your bench today because uh, that was another big lift you had. Well, I really don't know yet. He's being evaluated. I mean, he, it's his knee, so I don't know how bad it is. I think we're going to have to get an MRI done on it, but we just got to wait and, and get that information when it comes. Uh, but our bench was, was great. You know, I mean, I, I've always coached and I've always said that our, your bench has got to be as important as the guys that start the game. And it doesn't matter who starts, it's who finishes the game. And, and we finished the game pretty much tonight with two guys coming off the bench. We'll go to the back left-hand side, Julian. Coach, uh, you know, listen, this isn't your first rodeo. I mean, you went to the playoffs with the Hawks, with a young team, with the Knicks. And I got to ask you, with the last couple of wins, especially this one, is it a joy that you have from a win like this, or is it a relief that you're advancing on? It's not a relief. I mean, it's a journey that we started way back in the Bahamas. And, you know, I've had an opportunity, like you said, to, to build young teams like in Atlanta. And I know what the grind is like. Um, it's just getting guys to believe in what you do on, on and off the court, you know, on both ends of the floor. And our guys have bought into to my stuff, I guess you can say. And my stuff ain't always the greatest, but you know, it's, it's working for us now, and that's, that's what's more important for me and, and makes me feel good, too. But it's, it's more about our, our university and the program, guys. I mean, you know, this, we've been kind of on a roller coaster ride within the university basketball, and it's kind of nice to see guys now that are playing at a much higher level and now get an opportunity to play in the big dance. A few more, Tom, in the middle here. Mike, uh, Tom Bruce, Sports Illustrated, Indiana. I, I know coming back from a muscle strain like Trey is, uh, fully exerted himself yesterday. How did he feel last night, this morning? And can you can just talk a little bit about what you got from him today on both ends of the floor? Well, again, I thought he was great again. Um, you know, he, I'm sure he's probably a little sore, but because he hadn't been able to practice and he's just basically bringing it in the ball game. So um, we just got to keep keep nursing him and get him ready for tomorrow. Hell, he's, what, 19, 20 years old, man. He, he'll be all right. That's kind of how I look at it. Kevin on the left-hand side. Yeah, Coach, can you speak to the defensive effort today and then balancing guarding the three-point line and Kofi and what you learned from the first meeting that maybe you carried over this meeting in terms of defense? Our defense has been pretty damn good this year, guys. And we knew um, coming into this game, we had to guard the three-point line. I mean, that's where they got us in Bloomington. And I thought we did a really good job. Hawkins was the only one that got away on us. Um, 
and he didn't really play much in Bloomington. So, you know, you got to tip your hat to him because he stepped up and made big plays for for his ball club as well. But our defense was just – it was solid all the way through. Neither team wanted – and their defense was great. They, neither team wanted to give. It was just a grind to win this game. We'll take two more all the way on the front left corner. Bob Kravitz with The Athletic. Mike, when you were talking Trace into coming back, you told him he want, you wanted him to develop a jump shot in his right hand. When he made that jump shot, did you nearly faint? I said, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, listen, I, I tell Trace to try to get two or three jump shots. He just, you know, he won't shoot them. And then today, he stepped out there and he shot. I mean, I didn't have a bad looking shot. And he shoots them in practice. But he made the one that really counted. That was a big shot that he took and made. All right, we'll finish in the fourth row on the left-hand side. Coach, from your first press conference, Alexa Ross, CBS4, sorry. Um, from your first press conference, you really have stressed defensive effort, defensive effort, and the shots will come. And I think this was a real testament to what you've been working towards all season. Can you kind of talk about that and how that's all kind of come to fruition over time? Well, listen, I played for a great coach in Bob Knight. And the one thing he taught me was defense wins games. The offense is not going to be there every night. But if you can put a good defensive system in place, you put yourself in a great position to win every game. You're going to be in every ball game. And that's how we've been all season. And it's just hadn't, you know, it's not been night. I've, Larry Brown, great Larry Brown that I've worked with. I mean, I, I look at the Detroit team that we, that we championed back in 2004. In the, in the NBA there, and, and that team was as good a defensive team. That's basically how we won it. So I know defense will win games if guys are committed to defend and rebound the ball, and that's what we've been doing here as of late. All right. Thank you, Coach. Right, thank Congratulations. You. We'll see you tomorrow.